Hey guys, welcome back. This is the 13th video in my Python programming series. And today we're going to be talking about reading from a file. So specifically a text file. And we're going to be using something called file.io in Python. So the first thing we need to do before we can read from a file is we need to create a file. So I'm just simply going to go and find the directory where my Python tutorials are. So, oops, not here. They are right here in the tutorials folder. Um, and now you see I've got all my Python uh, scripts right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to click new. And then I'm going to find text document like that. Now I can name it whatever I like. I'm just going to name it file for right now, file.text. Now you may want to populate the uh, text document, so put some words in here. So I'm just going to put a bunch of different words. Hello, Tim, Python, learning, easy, just some random random words in my text file. I'm going to save that. Um, and now we can go to reading in the text file. So it is important that when you make the text file, you do have to save it in the same directory as your Python script. So if I were to put the text file here on my desktop and I have my Python script in the tutorials folder here, it's not going to be able to find the file properly. Um, you would have to do something which is a path joining, which I'm not going to talk about in this video, but maybe in a later one. So make sure that you save your file in the same directory uh, and same folder as where your script is. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to read from the file. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable. So we're going to name this file. You can name it whatever you'd like. And you're going to set it equal to the keyword open. And then inside of open, all you're going to do is you're going to type the name of your file. So file.text, a comma, and then the mode you want to open your file in. So in this case, we want to read it. So we're simply going to put a lowercase r inside of the quotations, just like that. And now that's pretty simple. That's all you have to do in Python to open up the file and to prepare to read it. Now, make sure you do put R in here. If you put nothing or you put a W, for example, which would be write mode, it's actually going to clear the whole file, which you don't want to happen. You want to leave the contents of the file in there, right? So we need to open it in read mode with this R. That's very important. Um, now what we're going to do is we're simply going to read all of the things from the file. So we've opened the file. Now we need to read it. So in order to read the file, uh, we have to type a few things. So we can do it in multiple different ways. The first way I'm going to show you is this. So I'm going to make another variable. I'm going to call it f. And this one, we're going to make it equal to file.readlines, like this. Okay. And then we can simply print out f just to show you what's going to happen. You see we get all of the words that are in the file. Now there's an interesting thing here. You may notice that there's a backslash n attached to all of the words except for the last one. That's because I'm going to open up the text file again and show you. Um, you notice here I didn't actually type backslash n, but every time we click enter like this, it actually creates com something called an escape character, which is that backslash n. So if we want to read in the file, we're going to have to remove that um, character afterwards, right? So it's just something to keep in mind that if you have things on different lines, each of the end of the lines is going to have a backslash n on that line that you don't actually see here in the text document, but Python will read that in. Okay, so we don't need to save that. Um, yeah, so let's move into the second way to read it properly now. So we have f equals file dot read lines. Now we want to remove all of these backslashes, uh, get rid of these ends from our lines. So there's a way we have to do that and it's by using a for loop. So we're going to do a for loop. I'm just going to say for line in f because now f has read all of our lines. So we're going to do what's called iterating by item. If you remember from my other videos, so each line, so every item in this f list here that just created by file.readlines, we're going to remove that character and we're going to create a new list. So let's make a new list. We'll call it new list. Just make it a blank list like this. New list. And then here we're going to say um what is it? New list dot append and if you remember what append does that simply means add to the end um, of this new list and then we're going to add the line and we're going to use the slice operator to remove that backslash n so we're going to simply do the colon and then negative one now what this does is we'll 
it will ha take all of line except for the last character. So negative one, um, I didn't talk about this in the other video, but negative one pretty much just goes to the last character, but does not include the last character when you do negative one like this. So just, just follow along for now. You don't have to completely understand it, but just put that negative one. And now if I print out new list, we'll see what we get. New list, F5. And you see we get rid of all of the backslash ends. Now we have one issue here. Um, down here on ease, uh, it should say easy, but we've actually removed the last backslash n from that string. So if we don't want to do that, now we need to actually add an if statement into our for loop. So inside of the for loop, we're going to type if, and then we'll say line, and we'll put a negative one again to represent the last character in that line, equals equals backslash n. And then we'll simply tab this in because remember everything in Python needs to be indented properly for it to be read. Um, and now we'll try this and we'll see if this works. And there we go. So we get hello, Tim, Python and learning. But now we've forgotten one thing. We haven't actually included easy. So now we need to do an else statement. So we have else and then we'll do new list dot append and we'll simply append the line just like that. And now we can print it out and we'll see what happens. And we get hello, Tim, Python, learning, and easy. Now there is an easier way to do this. I just want to show this example because you may want to do something where you're checking through all of the lines and you want to see if the last character or maybe the first character is equal to a certain item. And depending on what that string is or depending on what it is, you may want to add it to a new list. You may want to do something to it. So I just want to show you a way that we can do that. Pretty much this is iterating through every line in the file. So file here, so F creates a list of every line and then we go through every line of it and we see, we say if the end of it has this backslash n, then we're gonna remove the backslash n. Um, otherwise, we'll just add that line into our list, right? Okay, so now the easier way that we can do this is actually with something that's called the strip string method. So in my other video, I talked about this strip method that removes the spaces. But what we can actually do with this uh, is we can remove, what do you call it? Sorry, we can remove the backslash n with the strip method as well. So all we have to do here now, it's a lot simpler, is we do a new list dot append, and then inside of here, we're simply gonna type line dot strip. And now this will automatically remove those backslash n's and we'll see if this works. There we go. So we get everything and you can see it's a lot simpler and we don't even have to do the if statement um, for the easy, like that. So that pretty much is how you read a file in using Python. There are some other ways to do this, but this is the most basic and easiest way to understand. We've also talked about how to remove that, it's called an escape character at the end of the string, that backslash n. And in the next video, we're going to talk about writing to a file. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you again in another video.